So I went for a wee run yesterday and I think it's a, a partial success. And um, but I do prefer these bars. So this is uh, I think this is um, plan F. Because um, this is the sixth part. But I do prefer these because they're the higher rise. And I kind of want it to be I want to be sitting up on it's just a daft bike to be sitting up on, it's a sports bike, but that's what I want. And I can't afford to buy a new bike, but this this set of handlebars is full of little nuts and bolts and washers and stuff. So I've got to get all them out, or as many of them as possible out. And I bunged them basically, probably not got to see down there with a, a screw. So I've got to get a screw down, a bolt, sorry a nut. So I've got to get a bolt down there and get that out. I don't know, I had one. I don't know what I did with it. Ah, it's so hot. Just need to square it up, it wasn't actually wedged in there. There we go, that's fantastic. That's it, totally empty. Wonderful. Look how much it was in there. Wow. So, what I'm going to do. I want to fill up from this end, so I'm going to put a bolt in there just to stop the thing of these coming in. Yeah, the ball bearings coming out, but I've got to put it deep enough to that bolt's pretty well minced. Probably force that in somehow and just wedge it down. The shot's not going to get past that. Definitely right side, yeah, definitely right. That's the that's the throttle side. And I've got this little thing here that I was drifting it in with. Yeah, drift it a bit. I'm not quite sure how far that is. Um, I'll have to take another handlebar to bits. It's probably far enough, actually. Okay, and now what I'm going to do? I'm going to fill up. All these ball bearings. Not ball bearings, I'm calling them ball bearings. It's a lead shot. Pop the lead shot in there. That's approximately two kilos of lead shot. Not far away. It's a fair weight in that. And you pull this up, see how much it takes. Just gonna leave it at that. It's probably about a kilo. Just I'll weigh that actually and I'll see. And uh, I'm not gonna bother with weighted bar ends, I'm just going to put these um, these um, allen screws in here I've, put, I've wedged a nut in and I'm just going to put these in instead they look quite smart um, it's gone all the way down so there's enough there's enough lead in there the, thing is, the only thing I don't like about these um, dome allen nuts they're very soft. Very, very soft. That's it. There we go. Just gotta get these bars on. I can feel them. You're not gonna find oh, some way in them. Fantastic. Right. I'll get them on later on. So when I first started uh, putting stuff in the handlebars, remember this is done two handlebars um, there was 2024 grams so 700 grams we used 1.3 kilos in those bars I probably used a kilo in the bars that I've just done and 0.3 of a kilo in the first bar so I yeah, use quite a bit so I've got the bars on and there's about a kilo of lead in there lead shot 
and you just put these screwed in. And I went for, I've just been to work and back, put these on at about five o'clock this morning. I don't like where the mirrors are. Um, well, I've got other mirrors coming um, that'll come straight off this stock and just do away with this bit completely. So I keep looking at my screen and I'm not looking at where I'm. You're not seeing what I'm looking at. So they'll be gone. You'll have they're just they'll they come up about that far and then they go out. I just I get myself in shot. So they come up about that far and then they come out like that. And there's a bit here. Sorry, there's a bit here. The mirror will be there, so they're they're not up probably up here like that. Same with this one, I can't even see out of that one, it's just there for show. I need to just uh, mince it all up because it's a, uh, a left hand thread. Um, and of course these things I bought, these clamps I bought, aren't. But what I like about these clamps is you can use them on your controls if you want to. You don't have to, there's space on the bar so you can have them independent. If you find you can't adjust the mirrors, you haven't because you have to adjust the controls to adjust the mirrors and if you don't want to do that you can use the, the, the these clamps on the independently I just got to take this bike for a with these bars on I've got to do at least 30 miles to see I've actually got to do about 100 to be honest um, because with the nuts and bolts on these bars I was actually getting 70 miles before my hand went numb but so if I get over 70 miles with no numbness then it's been a success so I've got to go for a run today it's just just the way it is it's a shame like but uh, can't be helped there we go what's happening here I don't know anyway I'm going to push off